Forest Hills High School, and I would like to welcome you to the 53rd annual commencement, commencement exercises of our high school. Before we begin tonight, I just have a few announcements. Please do not approach the stage to take pictures tonight. Also, we ask that your cell phones tonight are used only to take pictures and not to receive or make phone calls. Mount Aloysius does not permit noisemakers inside of this facility. At the conclusion of the program, all parents, friends, and relatives are invited down to the floor to participate in the joy and celebration of this graduation. There will not be a recession tonight, so please come down after the students throw their caps. <coughs> I would also like to thank all the faculty and staff of the Forest Hills School District who worked so hard to make today a memorable moment for our seniors. And now, without further ado, the class of 2019.
At this time, I would ask the audience, please stand for the singing of our national anthem and remain standing for the Forest Hills alma mater. Gentlemen of our graduating class, please remove your caps at this time. Seniors, please be seated. At this time, it is my pleasure to introduce Mr. Philip Uhas, Senior Class President, who will give the welcoming address. Philip is the son of Stephen and Claudine Uhas of Somerville. Philip was an active member of the National Honor Society, concert band, where he played the alto saxophone, marching band, where he served as commanding officer this year, ski club, varsity volleyball, and FBLA. As part of the robotics team, Philip won two state competitions and competed at the VEX Robotics World Championships in 2017 and 2019. Philip played the part of Sky in this year's musical, Mamma Mia, and won the Isaacs MVP award. Finally, Philip won the trifecta this year, being named King of the Homecoming, Snowball, and Prom. At awards night, Philip received the School Director's Award, the President's Education Award, the Senior Band Award, the Robert Morris Academic Scholarship, and the Forest Hills Education Endowment Scholarship. Philip will be attending Robert Morris University, majoring in actuarial science. Ladies and gentlemen, I proudly present to you the senior class president, Mr. Philip Uhas. Thank you, Mr. Bassus. I'd like to start off by welcoming everybody to this year's graduation ceremony. Welcome families, welcome friends, welcome school board members, teachers, and staff, and most importantly, welcome class of 2019. So, in normal graduation speeches, you usually hear about a central message or topic that relates to everybody's experience at school. It could be how Forest Hills has changed them, what they learned over the years, or maybe some sort of life lesson. Well, you know what I say to that? Forget that! First off, it's boring like you're trying to put me to sleep, and secondly, half the time, it doesn't even apply to everybody, or it contradicts some other central message. So no, no, no. 
I've decided that what I'm going to do is take us down a nice trip down, you know, that old memory lane. Let's remember all those crazy good times we had together. I'm going to warn everybody, I made this speech special just for my fellow classmates, and I am addressing them for most of it. So I'm sorry if a lot of you adults don't understand it. After all, this event is for these guys. Okay, okay. Here we go. Thirteen years, four schools, and one amazing adventure. It all started with kindergarten. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I remember a good bit of my first day of preschool, or kindergarten. I remember exactly where I sat in Miss Seftik's class. I colored a picture of a fish, pretty cool, and I had art as my very first special. Remember specials? It was pretty fun. It was art, like I said, where we made the, the whoop pots and watched Wallace and Gromit. And we used those cool sinks that went in a circle the whole way around. You press the button to turn them on. And then there was library, where, where if we were lucky, at the end of the class, we got five minutes to play on the computers. And you better believe I was playing, playing Monkey Go Happy and Duck Life. There was gym class, and God love dodgeball and capture the flag. Do you guys remember when we, uh, we got the rock walls? And we all got so excited for them. And then we used them like once, maybe twice. <laughs> And the, those weird blue wall things with like the paint splatters on them and they lit up and you had to take a ball and you had to hit it. Also used like twice. But my favorite special was music. Okay, okay, one word, tinkling. Ah, <laughs> oh, we would tinkle to our little tinkling feet were sore. And around November, we would sing and play the amazing Tom the Turkey game. And the chorus, what for dinner? Come on, do it with me now. Ready? Three, two, one. What? For dinner. <laughs> Good job, guys. Uh, we played Suey at recess. We hatched chicks in fifth grade. That was fun. We had that accidental double fire drill that one day, and the fire truck, the fire truck show, showed up. And we thought the school was going to burn down. Also fun. And there was that time <laughs> when they told us that somebody stole silverware from the cafeteria, and they made us all take off our shoes to see if we were smuggling forks. And <laughs> But then they were like, hey, April Fools, woo! Good one, guys. I'm it. Got me. Got me good. <laughs> and at the end of the year, we had the carnival. We ate nachos, had fun in the inflatables, and rode that sinister mechanical bull. Then after all that, we moved on to middle school. Puberty was in full swing. Love was in the air, and a threat of keystones loomed over us all. Maybe some of us made friends. Maybe some of us followed each other. It was definitely, shall I say, different. We had new and strange classes all of a sudden, like, boo, algebra. We had our first formal dance, snowball, where we could take a date, maybe, you know, slow dance a little, you know. We built egg cars that we launched off the steps. And one thing I really loved about middle school were the teachers. There was one that was really protective of that one part of the hallway and would break up the sticks if we misbehaved. We had one that used maybe colorful language on occasion and taught us about cool shale sandstone limestone <laughs> and while i'm at it <laughs> doppler effect <laughs> we had that one substitute teacher that dropped some killer beats for us on the day she left but uh, yeah i love all you teachers out there really i do i do <laughs> what else oh yeah we had a really amazing ninth grade dance and a really amazing gettysburg trip we didn't. <laughs> <laughs> Administration's probably sick of those jokes. But, and then my favorite memory, of course, when a fight broke out in the cafeteria, and it, I don't know, it looks like one of the teachers, in order to stop the fight, put the one kid in a chokehold and then choke slammed him off the table. <laughs> and then we moved on to high school. We were in the big leads now, no messing up. We started out the old school. To be honest, I, I kind of like that school. But then we got the new school. Insert whatever scratching the surface joke you want to make there. I haven't heard those before. And, but we were finally old ones. Well, I don't know about you guys, but I certainly didn't feel you know, too different. Same old Philip. But then I would go to the elementary school, and I would feel like a giant. The chairs were like a foot tall, and oh, the kids would come up to my knees. I wanted to like, just stomp everything. <laughs> But no, high school was fun. I loved having to get 240 reading counts points every year. Something so fun that like 100 kids 
paid a guy to do it and caused a massive scandal that one year. <sighs> but seriously, I love going to the football games and singing the alma mater at the end of the home ones. And I love bonding with all the teachers. I loved, as cheesy as it sounds, learning. I know, shoot me, ooh. <laughs> but yeah, I like learning different things like Hamlet or the quadratic formula. Negative B plus or minus the square root of B squared minus four AC all over two A. Shout out to Miss Weissong. And of course, I loved homecoming, snowball, and prom. Just having a good time with you guys. Now, before I end my speech, there is one little thing I think we need to take care of. Possibly the most controversial and mysterious event in Forest Hills history. I think you guys know what I'm referring to. It's a little ditty I like to call The Rock. <laughs> So, all right, here's what, here's what I ask of you guys. If you threw the rock, like stand up or wave or something, all right? Won't get in trouble, you just, anybody? No? All right, so be it. Nobody threw the rock, I guess. We'll never know. All right, so now that that's out of the way, I guess it's time for me to say goodbye. Something I think I'm still not ready for. But I guess all great things must come to an end, right? I hate that. It ending. Some of you are probably pumped that it's over, but not me. I'll do 13 more years with you guys if I could, and I mean that. I'm gonna leave you guys something, you know, with this. Something I don't think I've ever said with my whole heart. Not until now. I love you guys. Each and every one of you. Well, until next time, I've been Philip Uhas. You've been you. Stay classy, Forest Hills. Stay classy. Thank you, and good night. Thank you, Philip. And now I'd like to take a moment to introduce our platform guests for tonight. Uh, when I announce your name, please stand, and then you can sit back down. Our superintendent, Dr. David Lehman. Our director of education, Mr. Lucas Jacobs. The junior, senior high, High School Principal, Mr. Brian Coston. Our Special Education Supervisor, Ms. Erica Lamantia. School Psychologist, Mrs. Donna Murphy Carosi. Junior High School Principal, Mr. Ed Alexander. Junior, Senior High, Dean of Students, Mr. Michael Brannis. <laughs> Elementary School Principal, Mrs. Rebecca Roberts. <laughs> Elementary School Assistant Principal, Dr. Robert Dill. <laughs> Representing the elementary school this evening, Mrs. Karen Wilson. Representing the Junior Senior High School, Mrs. Claudine Newhouse. And finally, the members of our Board of School Directors. Mr. George President. Mrs. Helsel. Mrs. Long. Dr. Andreg. Mr. Rager, Dr. Knavel, and finally, Mr. Bob. It gives me great pleasure to welcome to the podium the Superintendent of Schools, 
Dr. David Lehman, who will share some thoughts with us tonight. You know, I listened to uh, Phil's speech, and I knew I was in a little bit of trouble when you leave the kid go first, because they always do a better job than the adults here. And uh, when Philip was practicing today, I said he had a home run, and boy, didn't he ever. So could we give Philip in this class a round of applause? <laughs> now, you know, some of those uh, stories he said, we stressed the words alleged, um, rumor, um, and, and things like that. So I just wanted to make sure we were clear on that. Um, I always thought giving a good speech to the graduating class required me to see a couple smiles and a couple tears. And I always was proud to be able to do that. But boy, it's a little bit different whenever your kid's sitting in the second row uh, right in front of the podium. So I'm going to ask for some forgiveness today because Mr. George was a little bit nervous because when Tanner walked in, I was trying not to cry. So I was sweating so bad that I don't even know if I could read my speech right now. Um, so I'm going to try not to look at him somehow here or look at my wife and family and so forth and try to address you, but thank you. Members of the Board of Education, colleagues in the administration, distinguished members of the faculty, family, friends, and most importantly, the class of 2019. This day marks an era in your life. On one side, the door closes to a childhood quest, yet on the other side opens to a life of opportunity, potential, and incredible wonders. Parents, you should be extremely proud of this accomplishment. This sacred, solemn event represents a snapshot of the legacy that you're leaving behind. I'd like to tell you a little bit about this class. The class of 2019 reported being awarded over $1.5 million in scholarships. Thus far, 20 students will attend a two-year tech school, 68 students will attend a four-year university, 14 students will enter the workforce, and seven will serve our country in the armed forces. Please give those kids a hand. I'd like to congratulate you on the life decisions that you've already made. I'm certain your humble upbringing in this community will serve you well as you pursue your dreams and your passions. As you leave the wooded mountains known as Forest Hills, take a few minutes to remember the victories, trials, tribulations, and accomplishments that you have experienced. Take a few minutes tonight to talk to your classmates. Take time to soak in this experience and appreciate what this accomplishment is really about. Realize that you're about to embark on a tremendous new journey. The Forest Hills has provided you with the essential tools for you to reach your dreams. This new journey affords you a blank canvas to create a picture of your choosing. In this new adventure, you will have the opportunity to paint whatever you choose in your life canvas. You alone are responsible for what's placed in your portrait known as your life legacy. As you make your plans, remember that you matter. Remember that you're smart and have unique gifts. Remember effort produces achievement. Remember you need to stay motivated in your life's work. Remember to show others care and compassion. And remember your true legacy will be the value of your relationships that you've cultivated with your friends. To prepare for this moment, I've been carrying around 19 cents for about five months. After reflecting on this reminder, I have some last minute Forest Hills instructions for you to consider. The first thing is, you do not realize how many fingerprints have left marks in your life. Think about that. As a young boy, my friends and I frequented a store in Wimber called Anderson's. And Anderson's was the ultimate store for a young kid. You could buy matchbook boxes, comic books, but the most important thing there was the penny candy. As a youngster, I would save loose change to spend on mountains of penny candy, most of which I ate before I got home. 
One thing I remember about this trip, though, is all that money I held in my hand. I wonder who all touched those coins. In a few moments, we're going to call each of you graduates. How many fingers have left an imprint on your life? Who left fingerprints of care and compassion, your growth and development? What have those people taught you about living life, how to be successful, and realizing what really matters? Have you taken the time to thank the people who have, shelped or have, who have helped shape and mold you into the young man or woman you've become? Do you appreciate the rangers that have impacted your life? How will you return this favor and give back to future rangers? The second thing I want you to remember is your value is more than the money that you have in your pocket. Let me read that again. Your value is more than the money that you have in your pocket. At Anderson's, I always wish I had a little bit more money. For some reason, I was never happy with a bag full of Swedish fish, lemon heads, and if lucky, some jerky stuff. However, I can't tell you or put into words how, val how valuable you are to the people that matter most in your life. Respect your value. Do what's right. Tell the truth. Be a man or woman of integrity, grit, and character. Make good choices. Be kind. Be responsible. And show respect. The last thing I want you to remember is respect the past, but don't live in the past. Sometimes be people get stuck in the grandeur of the past. As a child, I vividly recall learning how to ride my bike. And my first bike had hard uh, rubber tires and a set of training wheels. And my best friend, Albert, lived in the top of 25th Street. And I remember riding my bike up whenever you're allowed to ride in the street. And uh, riding up 25th Street one day, uh, and my left training wheel fell off. And I can remember riding the rest of the day on that bike, kind of leaning to the right the whole time, and went to Anderson's and somehow carried candy back. Um, but there was a problem. When I went back to Albert's house, I had to go down the hill and make a right turn on the Jackson to get to my house. About halfway down the hill, the right training wheel fell off. Somehow, I made it to that house and my parents celebrated because I think I was 17 by the time I finally learned how to drive my bike. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> but tonight, the audience is here to help you and watch you learn how to ride the bike of life. You have the chance to chase your own dreams. Don't allow someone to take those hopes and dreams away from you. As we re run beside you with our hand in the seat this last time, we're about to let go. Trust me, there'll be epic falls. There'll be some cuts. There'll be some bruises. Probably plenty of band-aids. But in the end, you'll be able to do it. If you're lucky, in the end, you'll know as much as we do your parents. <laughs> I would like to thank the class of 2019 for allowing me to be a small part of your lives. Parents, extended family, thank you for your support and for affording us the opportunity to have an impact in your child's development. Thank you for what you have done for the learning community. Graduates, I'm very optimistic to watch you mature and grow into productive and successful adults. Dream big dreams. Work hard to reach those dreams. Do not forget your foundation of Forest Hills and keep Forest Hills in your hearts. Know and be proud that you're a ranger. Make the best moments you can. Thank you. At this time, our senior class chorus members will sing their rendition of For Good.
Our salutatorian this year is Mr. Ben Wechtenheiser. Ben is the son of Sean and Annette Wechtenheiser and resides in South Fork. <clears throat> Wild Forest Hills, Ben was involved in many activities. Co-captain of the cross country team, a state qualifier in track, captain of the scholastic quiz team, historian of the National Honor Society, member of student council, and senior class secretary. He is also an altar server, vacation Bible school teacher, and member of the Mountaintop Track and Field Club. At awards, at awards night, Ben received the school director's award, the president's education award, the senior mathematics award, the Rotary Club Academic Excellence Award, the Rotary Club Scholarship for Academic Excellence, the National Merit Letter of Commendation, the University of Pittsburgh Scholarship, the Helene and Robert Kranzler Scholarship, and the Challenge Program STEM Award. This fall, Ben will be, uh, be attending the University of Pittsburgh. Ladies and gentlemen, our salutatorian Mr. Ben Wechtenheiser. Well, to start, I'd like to say, sorry, Philip, this is going to be one of those graduation speeches. Well, guys, it's been a ride. Tonight is a time for us to reflect on our time as high school students. But more importantly, it is a time for us to look forward as we prepare to move on to the next phase of our lives, I'm sure we'll receive lots of advice. Think outside the box. Be the change you want to see in the world. Face your fears. But let's be honest, none of us are really listening to any of it. So just in case you aren't now, please sit up straight and pay attention because I'm about to tell all of you for free how to make your lives better. It will make you happier, make people around you happier, and make the world a better place. Yes, by doing this one little thing, you actually can change the world. Be kind. Yep, that's it. The most important thing that you can be in life is kind. Let's face it, most of us won't be rich. We won't have fancy houses, expensive cars, or a private jet. We likely won't start a multi-million dollar business, be a celebrity, or make it into a history textbook that high school students won't read. The legacy that most of us will leave is one of our relationships with other peoples. Aesop, and yes, I mean the guy who wrote the fables, said that no act of kindness, however small, is ever wasted. Something as simple as smiling and saying hello as you pass someone has the power to make them happy. And it took virtually no effect on your part. Now, I'm sure some of you are thinking, yeah, that's easy, but what about when it's hard to be kind? Great point. A lot of times, being kind is the hardest thing to do. It's a lot easier to be rude or mean in most situations than it is to be kind. But have you ever regretted being kind to someone? In Mrs. Gadula's English classroom, she has a paper hanging that talks about philosopher Frederick Nietzsche's idea of eternal return. Basically, it's the idea of living your life over and over again for all of eternity, even down to the smallest of details. Imagine reliving being rude forever. Sure, the first couple times you might laugh, but by the tenth, hundredth, even thousandth time that you relive making someone feel bad, would it be so cool? Now imagine reliving being kind forever. You look forward to it. You'd be excited for it. You definitely would not regret it. As you take the next step in your life, whether you're entering the military, getting a job, or blowing all your parents' money in hopes that you figure out what you do want to do with your life, Please remember, no matter what situation you're in, you can always choose to show kindness. You probably won't be remembered for an incredible achievement that changes the world. You'll be remembered for how you treated others and the ways you impacted the lives of those around you. So since I can't think of any other way to finish a graduation speech, I'll leave you with this. As former Barney star Selena Gomez perfectly sang, be sure to kill him with kindness. Thank you and congratulations. Thank you, Ben.
The valedictorian of the class of 2019 is Miss Bethany Fetzko. Bethany is the daughter of Ken and Dawn Fetzko of Ehrenfeld. She was a member of the Scholastic Quiz Team, Spirit Club, a two-year letter winner in soccer, senior class vice president, president of FBLA, secretary of the Robotics Club, vice president of National Honor Society, and president of Student Council. Bethany received the Tribune Democrats Academic All-Star Award, the Aaron Hostetler Memorial Scholarship, the Forest Hills Distinguished Alumni Class of 2014 Scholarship, the School Directors Award, the Senior Physics Award, the Senior Girls Physical Education Award, the Johnstown Rotary Club Service Above Self Recognition, the Johnstown Rotary Club Academic Excellence Recognition, and she was a member of the VEX Robotic State Champions advancing to the VEX Robotic World Championship both this year and last year. Bethany will attend Penn State University to study astronomy and astrophysics. Ladies and gentlemen, I proudly present to you our valedictorian, Miss Bethany Fetzko. Well, here we are. It only took 13 years, four different schools, 11 standardized tests, and over 24,000 hours of class time, and over 1,000 reading counts points, give or take a few, depending on how much you actually cared. But we made it. For some, graduation is a bittersweet moment in which you have to say goodbye to everyone and everything you've ever known. For most, however, graduation is the equivalent to being released from prison. Regardless, this is a milestone in all of our lives. From this point on, we have the opportunity to shape our lives in any way we want. In this room are future doctors, engineers, teachers, and yes, even cloud watchers. Sorry, Connor. <laughs> but in all seriousness, what you do from this point on will make all the difference for your future. The great thing about graduating from high school is that you now have a second chance to reestablish who you are. So, if you didn't like that Mrs. Wysong had to use more than one red pen every time she graded one of your math tests, you have a chance to learn from your mistakes and do better in college. If you didn't like the drama that existed with your friend group, you now have a chance to surround yourself with new and supportive friends that you'll meet wherever you decide to go. The bottom line is, no matter what you want to do, you can now do it. To conclude my speech, I asked each of the retiring high school teachers for a quote or words of wisdom that they would like to share with the graduating class. This is why Song chose a quote from Ralph Waldo Emerson that reads, To laugh often and much, to win the respect of the intelligent people and the affection of children. This is to have succeeded. Also, Mrs. Wai Song says, for those going to college, beware bow tie guy. <laughs> Mrs. Macon said, never underestimate the possibilities of what you can do. It doesn't matter that you're graduating from four stills. It's where you're going that counts. Listen to your business teacher for once and remember that you should never spend money that you don't have. <laughs> Mrs. Shimaleski touched on driving tips that she would like to share, especially with her first period English class. Remember that according to the law of averages on blustery February mornings, you will get behind the slowpoke on New Germany Road. So leave a few minutes early or you will be late. I mean, it's no coincidence the person in question's name rhymes with me. Mrs. Shmuleski also advises that in order to conserve fuel, turn off your car and take the keys from the ignition before leaving the parking lot. In regard to life tips, Mrs. Shmuleski says that unlike the Hamlet exam you should have studied for, some of life's greatest tests will be unannounced and outside the classroom. Finally, she said to remember Polonius' word, Polonius's words, take each man's censure but reserve thy judgment, more broadly interpreted as do not throw stones at sixth grade boys, however annoying. A bit late on that one, but... And last but certainly not least, <laughs> Mr. Crookston said, If you think you're at the place where you no longer need me, well, good luck with that. I've done my job, folks. Now go do yours. Good luck. Godspeed. Keep in mind, this is the same man who told our computer science class one day that it wasn't his job to teach us. <laughs> Regardless, these retiring teachers have known us the longest. Some of us have had them for multiple classes or even multiple years. 
I must say, it truly was an honor to have been able to ha have learned from some of the best teachers Forestals have to offer. I wish you all the best retirement possible. As for my fellow classmates, whether you're going to New York, West Virginia, Utah, Texas, or just staying in Pennsylvania, I wish you all the best of luck. Thank you, and congratulations to the class of 2019. Thank you, Bethany. Congratu congratulations, class of 2019. Today marks yet another transition in all of your lives. Transitions sometimes give us the opportunity to start anew or to continue the work we have already begun. Transitions can be hard to notice or sometimes very dramatic. No, how ma no matter how big or small, how we move forward and the direction we take is in part shaped by where we have been. All of you have worked hard to make today become a reality. Tomorrow will begin a new chapter in each of your lives. We are forever connected in life's long and eventful journey. And this journey will continue to be marked by transitions, all of which will be memorable in some way. Our hope for you is this, that we have prepared you to face whatever challenges and obstacles that you may face, and face these challenges and the connected transitions with confidence and determination, knowing the knowledge and experiences you have gained from Forest Hills will help you along your own journey from one transition to the next. It has been an honor, a privilege, a privilege and a pleasure to be your principal over the past three years. I congratulate all of you on your accomplishments and future success. Good luck and God bless. And now the time we've been waiting for. At this time, I would like to invite Mr. Brian Coston to the podium to introduce the graduating seniors. Presenting the diplomas is the president of the Board of School Directors, Mr. Galen George. Thank you, Mr. Vassis, and congratulations to all the graduates in attendance tonight. Without further ado, I'd like to introduce to you the class of 2019. Bethany Ann Fetzko. Benjamin Ryan Wechtenheiser. Philip Joseph Uhas. Mandy Lynn Bearjar. Alexis Marie Boback. Jordan Marie Berta. Christy Nicole Burkett. Adam Joseph Ciceri.
Mitchell Robert Chunta. Gabriella Susanna Simba. Byron Edward Daubert. Connor Michael Friedhoff. McKenna Lynn Gray. Madison Rebecca Hogue. Michael James Rebar. Joshua Aiden Jones. Abigail Lynn Josephson. Victoria Rose Coeck. Tanner David Lehman. Nathan Joseph Long. Lindsay Hannah Miller. Emily Maria Montag. Alyssa Marie Penrod. Courtney Ann Pazarski. Colton Steel Platt. Elena Rose Plaza. <laughs> Regina Dawn Rios. <laughs> Courtney Marie Roxby. Joshua Matthew Schrock. Emma Mackenzie Sarah Simpson.
Quinn Anthony Spangler. Margaret Olivia Staines. Carly Madison Steigers. Kayla Donnell Stohan. Michael Sean Travado. Jason Derek Wissinger. Lindsay Brene Alockney. Anna Grace Croyle. <laughs> Avery Ann Cummings. Carly Sierra Davis. Isabella Faith Deedle. Lauren Elizabeth Lample. Michael Noon the third Caitlin Yadira Sacido Kylie Brene Wadsworth. <laughs> Caitlin Joy Yeager. <laughs> Anthony James Singelia. Mason Taylor Bailey. Aiden Mark Belasco. Derek James Baxendale. <laughs> Chastity Faith Beers. Emily Ann Belinda.
Alexandra Jade Block. Michael Paul Block. Kristen Lynn Blau. Christopher Ellen Bovac. Brendan Michael Bob. Paige Madison Booker. Griffin Thomas Boyles. Rajon Charo. Sammy Lee Cobalt Jr. <laughs> Alex DeWitt Cornman. <laughs> Chloe Marie Sikos. Richard Timothy Doika. <laughs> Winner Rose Earhart. <laughs> Lance Edward Everhart. Erica Janice Frombaugh. <laughs> Courtney Lee Golden. Christina Nicole Goral. Sierra Ray Goral. Cassidy Page Bro. Nelson James Hemming. Shane Michael Hoffman. Chase Benjamin Hudson. Kara Ann Jarvis. Yeah. 
Megan Brian Jennings. Cody John Nepper. Robert Paul Crew. Ryan Sean Latshaw. Sydney Marie Lenhart. Aaron Joseph Leibarger. Erica Joy Leibarger. Alexis Elizabeth Macy. Jared Anthony Mangus. Blake Anthony Michaels. Corey Matthew Miller. Devin Cole Miller. <laughs> Dylan Ryan Miller. <laughs> Giselle Lynn Monar. James Jude Murphy, Jr. <laughs> Lucas Allen Myers. Jacqueline Dawn Nana. Devin Jacob Parch. Michael Stephen Perlow. Shauna Renee Lynn Plummer.
Chelsea Lynn Primmel. Jacob Allen Remick. Joshua Allen Remick. Gregory Joseph Richnovsky. Blake Allen Roberts. Mason Thomas Rogers. Simeon Lee Rogers. Mackenzie Rose Sarka. <laughs> Haley Marie Schaefer. Isaac Ronald Shirt. Jacob Scott Show. Chelsea Marlene Sakura. <laughs> Blaine Stephen Smay. <laughs> Dylan Anthony Smith. Dominic James Spinos. <laughs> Anthony John Steigers. Chloe Marie Falinski. Joshua Roman Van Nell. Olivia Dawn Varner. Kanan Riley Walsh. <laughs> Madison Elizabeth Waters.
Jacob Denver Weaver. Jeremy Aaron Weiss. Desiree S. Weary. Amanda Marie Wilson. Forrest James Wolfo. Rachel Nicole Wolfo. Joshua David Wright. Adam C. Yatsky. Devin Thomas Yakimovich. Congratulations, graduates. Thank you. Seniors, thank you for contributing to my retirement fund tonight. I appreciate it. <laughs> my pockets are a little bit heavy, but I think I'll be okay. I do appreciate the quarters, though. I got two quarters. It's nice. I'm going to go to Anderson's with uh, <laughs> Seniors, please rise. Move your tassels. requirements for graduation as set forth by the Pennsylvania Department of Education and the Forest Hills School District. Ladies and gentlemen, I now present to you the graduating class of 2019. <laughs> 